Hey everybody, I'm back from Reading and Writing Redhead. So I am here to talk to you about the Daily Five again. Here's my Bible. And I want to talk to you about launching Read to Self. You might even do this on the first or second day of school or if Daily Five is new to you. Could be any time of the year. So on the first day, you want to introduce to the students with a foundation lesson on three ways to read a book. Yes, there's three ways to read a book. So you're going to go over with the students that you can read the pictures, you can read the story or read the words, and you're going to model or kind of do it together with students maybe later in the day, um, retelling the story using the pictures. So those are your the three ways students can read a book. So this is going to help the students who are maybe struggling a little bit with reading. They're a little intimidated by read to self. They're going to find out, oh my gosh, I could just read the pictures. That's great. Or the students who like to do interactive activities with their peers more, they're going to be excited about retelling the story. So also you're going to want to help students learn about picking a successful spot for themselves. And you're going to give them some information on I pick good fit books. Now I pick is an acronym. Now um, I'm going to have to refer to my notes here. Okay, so I is I select a book and look through it inside and out. P stands for purpose. What's the purpose of me reading this book? Um, why do I want to read it? I is for interest. Is this book a book I'm interested in? C is comprehend. After you look at the inside, do you comprehend, do you understand what this book is about, what it's saying? And K, know. Do I know most of the words? You can use your like read a page five finger check for that. So it's a little bit more involved than what some teachers do, which is just, hey, look at it and see if you can read most of the words. If you can't read five words on a page, it's too hard. So it's I pick is the acronym. Okay, then after you've launched the read to self, you can start adding in other foundation lessons. Uh, when, so when kids run out of stamina, you're gonna call them back to the rug. You're gonna introduce other foundation lessons. Now I'm gonna give you a quick run through of all of them, but I might follow up later with more detailed videos on each of these. So we've got read to someone, listen to reading, word work, and work on writing. Work on writing lessons, the actually interesting lesson you're gonna do for that is underline words I don't know and move on. I like that one. Or I'm sorry, words I don't know how to spell and move on. So the kids make a guess and move on. Then us, uh, you're gonna do a lesson with them in writing on how to set up a writing notebook and choose what I wanna write about, okay? So then we also have read to someone, listen to reading, and word work. I think I'll stop there actually. I'm not gonna go through all the other mini lessons or foundations lessons. I will address those in individual videos, but that gives you a great, hopefully a good start on how to launch read to self. Catch you next time.